YouTube, YouTube. This is the now. Sun gazing again. It's time to change the game. So the game is changing. Me, I see change uh, occurring every day, every second, every breath. Every breath I take, there's change occurring in my life. So there's change occurring in the world. You know, nothing exists outside human consciousness. So for sure, if we grow in awareness and pour a little bit more consciousness into what we do, we will create a change. Just to become more conscious, develop a sense of mission. You know, I think the most the, be, the most important things is especially to develop a, a sense of mission because this is what uh, we need. We need more of us that discover why we're here. <laughs> There's a me. I always like had an idea of why I was here. I was here. I've never really fit in, so I was like, okay, there is gonna be something, but never. I don't know. Never anything that triggered me to uh, triggered my comfort zone. I think is. If something doesn't come and affect your comfort zone, or if you don't challenge yourself to step out your comfort zone, you will probably stay there. You will stay there because it's comfortable. It's called the comfort zone for a reason. It's because it is comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on the, my other chilling spot. That's my sunset chilling spot. Inside the cornfield. Inside the GMO cornfield. When you see them small now, they will grow, the GMO corn will grow, for sure. Yeah. But that's it, this is a time of change. The wind of change is blowing here and now. That's my uh, title of my uh, Truman Show with, uh, with Just tomorrow. I'm going to be on the Truman Show with Just. Great man. Always uh, appreciate uh, anybody that, uh, you know, this is what I want to reflect with others. I just want us to connect together and and wherever we are, like, we need to connect. And we have the greatest tool that we ever, uh, you no, know, we didn't have internet uh, 30 years ago to, to create an uprising. You know, today we have a... We have something at least to create this uprising. You know, we have tools at our disposition. It's not like you're secluded in your home by yourself. But if you decide to be in that state, it's because you put yourself in that state, but you don't have to. You can speak to the world through internet, and there's many other media you can speak your mind. And I think. Uh, all this been created by us also. The shift is happening, is occurring, but also it's not the... Uh, you know, the people in power, they, they want us to sleep. They don't want us to... Uh, like, they don't mind if we sleep. They don't want... Like, for sure, they are uh, doing evil stuff, but I think it's just because we're very, very much dormant. And the default state of humanity is probably one of the very evil purposes. That's the very default state. So if we uh, move out that uh, default evil state, uh, we can maybe... We can hope for better days, for sure. Better days are coming. I feel it. I feel the change occurring in myself every, uh, every breath I take, so... Okay, might not be seeing it for my living days, eh? the whole thing. It's coming, it's getting there. But yeah, it's to develop the sense of mission. It's very important. I have the greatness guide here, we'll go to this. Again, let me check this out. Four leadership lessons from a wise tailor.
Yeah, four liter shipless sense from a wise tailor. Improve. Always be getting and doing better. Never settle for mediocrity. Never, never settle for mediocrity. And that's what most of us do. We settle for scrap. We settle for scrap and mediocrity for, for crumbs. And we think that is normal. That is... You know, you can find abundance. If you have abundance inside of you, you'll find abundance outside. It's there, accessible. Observe. Talk to people you work with. Really listen to them. And keep your eyes on the business. Because you can expect only that which you inspect. Connect. Be really good to people. Treat your customers with respect. Give them good value. Be caring and deal with any complaints fast. Adapt. Adapt. Conditions change. Competition grows. Uncertainty is the new normal. Stay fast. Stay flexible. Stay nimble. The seven forms of wealth. You get inner wealth inner wealth what this is this includes a positive mindset high self-respect internal peace and a strong spiritual connection a strong spiritual connection physical wealth physical wealth your health is your wealth. You have only one body. If you don't take care of it, uh, where are you going to go? You know, if you're sick, if you're constantly sick and stuff, uh, it's very hard to uh, do something with your life. Eh? So, for sure, your health is your wealth. What's the point of getting to a great place in your career if you get sick doing it? That's the other thing, too. What's the point if you get sick doing it? Why be the best business person in the hospital ward? Why be the richest? Why be the richest person in the graveyard? <laughs> What's the point of becoming the richest person in the graveyard? <laughs> Family and social wealth. What this consists of. Family. Family and social wealth. When your family life is happy, you will perform better at work. No one gets to the end of their life and regrets making their family their first priority. Related to this is the imperative of forging deep connection with friends and members of your personal community, including mentor, role models, and trusted advisors. Career wealth. Actualizing your highest potential by reaching for your best in your career is incredibly important. Getting to greatness in your profession brings a feeling of satisfaction on a job well done. It helps you make your mark. Being world class in your work is so good for your self-respect. I always told you that, bring the maximum you can into your workplace. Economic wealth. Yes, money is important. Not the most important thing in life, but very important. It absolutely, absolutely makes life easier and better. Money allows you to live in a nice home, take beautiful vacations, and provide well for those you love. And as Yvonne Schwinard, the founder of the outdoor great company Pantagonia, has said, the more I make, the more I can give away. The more I make, the more I can give away. Peace out.